Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth. Thank you for joining me today. We are in our uh, Learn With Me series number three. This is episode two of How I Do YouTube. In this episode, we're doing the um, video editing on the cell phone. When I first started, I did not use a PC. It was Everything was done on my phone, and I uploaded straight from my phone to YouTube. So if you don't have a PC, know that you can do this as long as you have access to your YouTube and a recording device that will upload to YouTube, okay? Because I know some phones, um, not phones, but some smart cameras actually upload to like Facebook and stuff like that, so... I am on the Samsung.com page just to kind of, okay, I keep hovering over stuff. Stop that. This is Samsung Desk, Dex. I use this to do, um, to connect my phone to my PC, which then allows me to work my phone through the PC. So you'll be able to see everything I do on my phone via my PC and um, I'm able to do a screen record and that is how I'm going to help share the process today. So you only need Samsung Dex if you're wanting to share how-to videos on stuff that's on your phone. Um, I use it also to help transfer files from my phone to my PC. It's a, it's a good little um tool it's kind of it has its quirks it it's kind of annoying but if you ignore it for a little bit the um home bar down at the bottom of the screen flashes and it's annoying but for the most part it is a pretty good program so here we are on samsung dex page it is connected to my phone these are apps on my phone. Okay, so if I go into these multi dots, that will show me all of my apps. Okay, so there's photos, PayPal, all that fun stuff. And then we can click through the pages. Okay, I can literally turn on my camera, and there we are, pointed at the ceiling. Woo! Okay. And I'm going to turn that off. Um, and we are going to go look at Video Maker. Video Maker, okay, this is by Video Guru, aka Video Maker. It is a free to use, or you have the option of paying for the pro program. So when you click on it, this is what you see. You see Video Guru, new project. I do believe when you first install it, you have to give it permissions to access your, your phone. It needs to get into your videos and all that stuff. And I haven't had any, any weird things happen to my phone. And I've had it several months now. It's a nice little program. You're going to want to click on the new project. Okay. Now it opens into your videos and you basically just click. Okay. And what that does is it sent this one to the, uh, to the edit area. And then you can say, yep, that looks good. And then you can click on another one. But if you click in the corner there, it will add them all that way. Okay. I am actually going, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter which ones I use. I had recorded these earlier today. Um, I have those other pink videos that I was going to play with. But these will work. Okay, so now we have all of the videos in here. And if we scroll on through, 
scroll on through to the other side. It's a long video. Come on. Get on over there. It will show you. Okay, here it is. This little white box with a slash in it. And this one here. These are your in, ends. So this video ends here. This one starts here and ends here. And then this is your last video. Okay. And this is good to know because my cell phone, when you record a video, it literally busts it down into multiple clips. If you go over like 38 minutes, it's going to put the other minutes into another clip. Okay, so you might have two or three or more clips depending on how long your video is. I have done videos over an hour with this and then when I do the final convert it does save to my phone as a full hour in some clip and it uploads to YouTube just fine. I will tell you that the longer the clips, the longer it takes. The more fancy stuff you put in it, the fades, the effects, all that stuff will take longer to upload. So just be sure to have your charger handy while you're editing, okay? Editing and processing the video in the end. Now, there's a lot you can do with this program, even in the free mode. And mind you, I did purchase, it was like $5 to purchase the whole, whole kit and caboodle, everything that they offer. So it's worth it in my opinion, even though I don't use it much anymore, I, it was still worth it to donate the $5 for as much use as I did get out of it. So say like you loaded up your videos and you're like, oh, I put that one in the wrong order. I need this one to be on the end. If you click and hold it, okay, it'll pop it up and then you can drag and swap it. So we're going to put that one on the end and we're going to tell it okay. Now, I had mentioned before in my last video that the difference between pausing and stopping is a time saver. If you're doing a video and there's a section you know you want sped up, whether it's you painting your nails, um, putting on the eyeshadow, or putting on the foundation, some part that you know needs sped up, you stop it before, you stop it after, and then you have the filming around it. And this is why, okay? I've got three clips here, okay? I'm going to see where I'm at. Can I make this part smaller? Oh, no, but I can make that really big. <laughs> that is not what I want. Hold on one second. Let's get back to I know. Oh, heaven forbid. And it's nice because if something happens, right? Your project is saved. So th this is a good boo-boo to show. Um, here's my little project. It's all nice and saved. Okay, so that's really helpful. But uh, I'm trying to get it to the middle project. And I was hoping to enhance the timeline. Can we? No. So some things, and this is why editing on your phone is a little tedious. Um, I liked it because I could fast forward through stuff. Okay, here we go. So here's our second clip. I'm going to select it so that there's the bounding box around it. Okay, and when you do that, you get options. All these nice, bright, highlighted objects pop up. Okay, so that's me closing it. That's not an actual drop down menu. So we open it back up and we can trim it. We can speed it up. 
we can adjust the volume to say like this recording is really soft and then you hit into this second recording maybe you went for coffee and you're Woo let's go let's go let's go and you want to tone you can lower the volume on that one or in this case we want to completely mute this clip okay and now it's going to play a little sample there's no noise whatsoever okay now that it's muted we are going to speed it up unfortunately this only speeds up so fast Okay, it only does two by, and that's all right for this example. If you want a particular clip sped up faster, what you would do is edit that one clip before anything else. So you'd edit the, the two times, turn off the volume. You would save it, and you'd click your little save button, but we're not going to do that right now. And then you would edit it again. You'd take that sped up clip and you would re-edit it. And you'd get it sped up as fast as you want. And then when you get it where you want, you delete all the other ones off your, your phone so you don't get confused. And then when you go to do your final edit, you would load your end, your sped up version, and then the beginning or vice versa, you know. You get all your new parts loaded up, and then you have the zoomy zoom part in there, okay? So here's, come here, I want, and in order to move this timeline, I'm clicking and dragging. So you would put your finger on the timeline and drag it across, okay? I'm just doing it with the mouse, but pretend the mouse is your finger, and your finger is doing all the work. Okay. Oh, I held on to that particular part a little too long and it's like, eh, what do you want to do? Okay. And we don't really want to sort it because we have it the way we wanted. Now you can add some text. Okay. Oops. Add some text and you can modify your text. Okay. You can change the color of your text. You can change the opacity. The opacity says how clear is it. So you could watermark your entire video. Okay. So you can sign it here at the bottom and then watermark it. Okay. And then you can also. Adjust a few other things. I am trying to find uh, fonts. Okay. You can upload new fonts. That's this little add button there. You can go through and add some more. There's the color. Okay. Here it is. When you're in the color thing, down at the bottom, there's the text. So you're changing the text color. This is the label. So you can change your label color, the border. I'm not sure what the border is coloring. And then you can add a shadow. Okay. So lots of editing choices for that. When you got it to where you like it, you click the like button. And then this yellowy box up here, that's the duration. That's how long it's going to play in your video. Okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to. You can make it longer. So like I said, if you want it to play the full length of your video as a watermark, you can do that. And you just click the little, this little arrow right here and drag or shorten it as long as you need it. So if you need to give some information, say, say like you misspoke and said it was color burgundy and it was color bronze, you know, you can make that little edit with some text above your item. Okay. And now we're going to drop out of that because we're done with that. 
And then we are going to do a little trimming. Let's get over here and we're going to do the trim button. Okay. And it zooms in for you when you hit the trim button. You can use these to cut out pieces. Okay. So that right there, I'm going to tell it to split it. And what that does is it makes it like another video. You have multiple videos. Okay. That way there you can see there right there, that little mark. That means you can put in your little trim marks. I'm going to come right about here. Okay. And then we're going to trim it again. And mind you, you would be doing this. Okay. With the listening and knowing exactly, I'm just picking some weird, um, weird places to put stuff and I'm going to tell it to split it there. Okay. Now I've got another split area, but this split area, oops, I'm going to click it to access it. I'm going to slow it down this time. Okay. We're going to slow it way down. Okay. Now let me see. I'm going to hit play this here. This is Elizabeth. I just wanted to sh Okay. I want to make sure that Oh, I didn't do any talking there. I was making sure because when I picked on the speed part, it, um, uh, speed. Okay. This one was at one point because the other clip I clicked on said it was already in the fast. So we're going to speed that one bit. up. I just wanted to show another. Okay, and then we know that the noise on that was ridiculous, so we're going to adjust the vo volume, and we want no sound there. Okay, now here we have this clip that has no sound. Okay, we're going to go to the start of this clip. Okay, and we want to add some talking point over what we've just muted. So you get your cursor where you want it. Okay. So I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to come down here to the microphone and hit record. And then when I click this, I wait a half a second. So you can start your video off just a little bit. Okay. And then start recording. So as soon as this gets over this area, I'm going to start talking. Hello everyone. This is Elizabeth. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. And then we now have this. Hello everyone. This is Elizabeth. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. So you can do a voiceover on your phone. Pretty cool, right? Now I could have kept doing my editing and stuff this way, but this is so tiny. It's very hard for me. Um, up until I started doing my intro, which I think I'm going to put a copy of my intro on, uh, my Google photos so that I can download it when I need it. And I can upload via my phone straight to YouTube because there's many videos I plan on doing that I do not intend to edit at all. I'll just need this to clip the pieces back together, maybe delete a tiny little area, that I need to. And, um, yeah, so that's why I still have it. I'm still going to be using it just a little bit differently. And so now we have this little blue area. That's our little volume, which you can, I think, can we expand you? No, you can't expand a volume area which makes sense, but I was hoping we can move it a little. Nope, but we can, I just clicked on it twice and now it says effects. Ooh, what are we doing? 
Let's do a crash, too. Oh! <laughs> that just scared the bejeepers out of me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you... So, apparently, you can add effects. So, if you made a boo-boo in your video and you want to leave it in, you can add a crash sound. And so, okay, we're going to turn the volume down just a smite there. That did not turn it down very much at all, did it? Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. So now we turn down the volume. And that's what I was talking about. If you have an area where the volume is just way loud. Okay. So we're going to start right there. We're going to hit play and see what happens. Hello, everyone. This is Elizabeth. Thanks. All right. So it did. It put it before my speaking. That's where I had the cursor. Okay. So that's kind of fun. And see, we did text, we did that. You can add music. Um, songs. Let's see where songs takes us. Um, so these would be the ones that are part of the program. And then you have your music, which if you download from your royalty free music collection similar to binsound.com all of those bin sounds would be in here and i could use them uh, without any hesitation or little blurps from youtube saying you can't use this because i would put the arbitration in my description saying that the music was from bin sound and be all nice and safe and um, doing things the right way so you can do a lot with this video maker. What did we do? We click on the one we want to work on. That opens our options. So many options. There's split, there's speeding, there's volume, there's trimming. Um, in my last video, I was not sure if you could rotate. And yes, there is a rotate. So if you have the orientation wrong, you can rotate your um, video okay so that is a good feature or if you're finding out like see the we are is backwards you could rotate it so then your writing is the right way so if your video is recording in the mirror image you can fix that okay and that is in the rotate feature there's copy, there's cropping, um, sorting. Oh, yep. So all those, remember we only had three clips before. Now I have multiple clips. So maybe that one clip we cut out is going to be our beginning clip. And we're going to talk over that first part as our intro or something. You know, that's kind of cool. So we're going to leave that like that. And okay, so what else what else is there? We've done some trimming. Oh, we didn't do trimming where we cut it out. So I'm just gonna come over here and let's say we're watching this and we're like, okay, I'm spending too much time here. We're gonna hit the trim button. Okay. And then I'm going to be watching in this right here okay so when i hit the play Don't button leave. it's going to show Put me them in a program sorry i'll hit the pause when i hit play you'll be able to hear and see everything you're going to cut out and then you just go to the middle which is just cut okay and then it's asking you want to cut out that center piece and you say yes okay and so now that piece is gone and I have the two pieces that now butt up to each other, the two new pieces. And then let's see, volume speed. Do we have effects for this? Mm, nope, don't want to hold on it. Okay. Because I thought I saw effects for this 
why is it, is it in the plus button? Nope, that's adding more video. If you forgot a clip, you can add another clip. That's to zoom. That. Oh, there, right there. Trim effect. So we're going to click effect. And we are going to pick this green thing. Long press to apply. So I'm going to click and hold it. Ooh, that was interesting. How about this one? Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth. Ah, ah. So playing around. If you're any, any app that you get, load up a video and play around. And that's how I learned. And I'm still learning because as you can tell, I haven't tried these before. So this is kind of cool. So now I'm going to back it up and see what we did here. Um. Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth. And if you... Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then you do your check mark or your garbage can. Let's click this. Ooh, what's this one? Not my post. Uh, ooh, that's, so that's kind of glitchy. That was interesting. Okay, so then you, you get it the way you want it to look. You add your funny stuff, your, filter, um, your effects. So what are some filters? What are some filters doing? Let's do the dark filter. Ooh, that was interesting. So it turns it black and white maybe changes the mood of your camera lighting okay and some of these may not be free okay but like i said for five dollars it's worth it to me Ooh, and then we can adjust some goodies so we can strengthen or diminish apply to all so now this is going to play throughout the whole whole video with that overlay of color and stuff pretty cool stuff I think so we have let me let me see we've looked at ooh, what's this mm -hmm. oh there's a YouTube thingy oh I didn't know that so this BG background I'm assuming is to make sure that your ratio is compatible for your um, social media. So if you were doing a YouTube, or not YouTube, but uh, Instagram, it makes it into that square format. That's kind of cool. In which case, you would probably want to record in portrait here. Okay. So here's one for TikTok, again, record and portrait, YouTube, landscape, Facebook, landscape, Twitter, landscape, and then some other options for other devices. So I'm going to click on that YouTube because that's where it's going to go. Not really, but you know what I mean. All right. So let's just go over this one more time just to make sure we got this right because this is a lot of fun so you have your clips if you pull in your clips wrong you click and hold and you can drag around your clips so you click oops click and drag and you can reorder your clips okay come on i need you to come this way Scooch over. There we go. So you can reorder your clips by clicking and holding to open that window. When you want to work on a clip, you click it to highlight it. Once it's highlighted, you can go into your options and edit away. Okay. So you can trim it. Trimming. You can cut it completely out. Um, you can split into multiple groups in case you need to fast forward or slow something down. 
Um, it is also good to do that if you want to do a little voiceover on a little section you may have, again, misspoken or something. So you can um, split that area, mute the original sound, and then do a recording over the top of that. So that's pretty cool. You can adjust the volume for the clip. You can mute it completely. You can turn it down if you notice it's too loud. Okay. You can delete the whole clip if you've made a mistake. There's the split button, which I'm not sure. Yep. It literally, instead of going into trimming, you can hit the split button and it makes a cut exactly where your cursor is, which is super nice if you're in play mode and you're like, okay, I need to split that right there. Okay. So that's another way to do the split. Um, cropping. I know we didn't really look at that, but again, that's, you're using a specific format. So if we brought down this, and tell it okay then it's kind of like zooming in for you okay and then i do believe that will be that way for the entire yep okay and i do believe that one um click on you again we are in the slow-mo for that clip and we decide we need to speed that up. Okay, so you can always go back and readjust things. If you're finding that you're applying a feature to one clip and it's applying to everything, you could edit the clips um, before merging into a final piece. Okay, so there are options and workarounds. If it's not working the way you expect it to work, you can just work on one clip before adding it to your final piece, such as speeding up beyond two times. If you need it to go super fast, just edit that one clip in its own little thing multiple times and then add it to your final project. Um, we have the rotate, okay, again, you can do mirror image. If the wording is backwards and you've noticed it, because it does happen, um, if you accidentally record it in landscape and you need it in portrait or vice versa, you can do it that in the rotate. Once everything is exactly how you want it, hit play, <laughs> watch it, make sure, you know, everything's lined up. And if you have your, um, your intro video saved on your cloud, download it to your cell phone and then insert it as the beginning of this clip. And you can literally run your entire video this way. Okay. And um, our next video, I think we will be looking at editing on the PC. And we will look at place it in a video after that. And place it is what I use to make my video intro intros. So, um, place it. And I'll double check to see if we can use it on the phone. Okay, so I'll look into that before I do that video. Once everything's done, good and golden, you're ready. You click this um, little rectangle with an arrow shooting out. It kind of reminds me of a printer symbol for some reason. But that is your export button. And when you export... It saves it and modifies it as a whole, okay? So all those individual pieces are gonna be one single seamless video. It will take time to convert the video, okay? Don't panic.
just don't shut it down either because if you try and stop it oops is it can we shut the app okay you can close it that's good okay yeah you can minimize it but you can't like close it close it okay there i knew that was like i always got a sign that says okay so be careful with the buttons you push because you don't want to um stop it completely and then if we do that yep don't do that so you can't cannot work on a new one while this is converting uh yes i no i don't want to cancel the converting because it's actually almost done this was a short i don't know 20 minute thing that we were playing with remember the longer your video the longer time it will take okay if you have any questions or <laughs> i went a little too crazy and you don't quite understand definitely let me know in the comments and i will address it in the first part of the next video or the video after that depending on when you drop the question or i will message you back and let you know directly okay so it's saved and now we can youtube yes right there from video maker isn't that cool so here it's showing my youtube name and email address so i know it's going to go to the right one um we're going to give it a title because you must have a title and i will tell you this i don't add a description here there's been more times than not i add a description and it won't youtube won't accept the upload i don't know what goes on behind the scenes but it has issues and i'm okay with that um i just go to you uh studio youtube studio and do all of that information which i will show you here in just a second so you get your title you can try to add your description you can make it public unlisted private schedule okay public goes as soon as it's done uploading to youtube's cloud space it's public anybody in the world can see it unlisted literally means nobody can see it unless you give them the link okay and the private same thing only people who have the link can view what's going on scheduled i like scheduled you pick a day you pick a time and you tell it okay now when you do scheduled when the time's up and it goes to post it will be public for all the world to see i'm gonna hit private because we don't need to know that i do not share my location nobody needs to know that there are some youtube things you can do like um choosing filters and stuff i do not play with those you click next audience you must answer this no this is not made for kids unless you have kids and it's made for kids then you had better put yes it's made for kids or they will send you to youtube jail and find you and it's not pretty please don't do that okay and then the other one mine is not made for kids do not restrict my video viewers over you know 18. so i'm gonna cancel because that already says no so no and no if it's adult content if it's made for kids um i would suggest you do youtube for kids honestly kids really don't belong on regular youtube but <laughs> that's just my advice <laughs> okay if it is made for kids and it is on youtube definitely check it's made for kids we don't want you getting in trouble and then you hit upload 
and when you hit upload it tells you okay this is what we're doing okay and it goes through phases so even though the phase one says oh we're done it's not really done it's got some other stuff it's got to do so um it it's weird i don't know how to explain it but just know it's got other stuff to do so uh, they're telling me in about four minutes it will be available and if it was public everybody would be able to see it okay so that is video maker uploading to youtube now i mentioned that i don't do the description there because sometimes it just gets caught up and it does not work so i'm going to show you what you should have if you have youtube if you have oops pardon me my daughter's meds alarm okay where was i i need to go to my apps nope <laughs> no double clicking get back in there okay so i'm going to do okay if you upload to youtube you should have this yt studio it's in the play store um sometimes you can't there was something i was trying to do or upload and it told me i couldn't do i had to do it from this particular app on the pc you get more information okay this is my dashboard when you have youtube open and you're logged in and all that good stuff when you open y2 y2 yt studio it will kind of automatically connect and it will double check that hey is this the account you want to use if you have multiple accounts on your phone or laptop whatever you're using and you tell it yes and this is what we're going to do your dashboard opens you can see your youtube uh, profile pic your name your subscribers count and then up here you have if you have any comments you can click on that and then all your new comments will be here these are comments they're kind of grayed out because i've opened them and commented back these i have not okay and this is the best part i don't have to go to that video i'm right here in yt studio i click it click and i can see oh well i was in youtube and i did like it and i made a reply so that one's all done i'm gonna check on this one and i liked it and i said okay and then i'm gonna check this one out and oh i haven't responded I can do that right here and I'm just gonna say uh, she says thanks for the info so interesting well think oops let's spell here thank you for watching kind of much a pre <laughs> all right and so we're gonna send that off and she will get that comment about now okay so that's how you can check your comments there's other bits you can do okay so i'm gonna go to this three dashed line and i can look at my videos my playlists my comments which i was just there and analytics analytics is confusing I, I don't even bother so the, here's my videos okay here's the one that's processing when this is done I would click on it like this okay now that I've clicked on it um, the video that's uploading now doesn't have a thumbnail okay this is where you would edit your thumbnail and see here I can go right here into edit I can go down and pick something for a thumbnail okay and then do the select and it would save it i obviously don't want to change that here we have the title that we gave it and here would be the description we did not give okay 
Now you're looking at that going, holy crap, that's a lot of info. Yes, this is my info for this series. Now, if I was using my phone straight up, I would go to my Samsung Notes, okay? I would do Samsung Notes and I would, no, I don't want to update now. Um, I would have a note that I could just, let me find one that I can just click in. Uh, no, that's not one. My white cake recipe, this one here. Okay, so this has information. Oh no, that's not gonna work because, sorry. Um, my notes, they are from, my old Samsung and they didn't transfer over very well I'm trying to find a note that I actually have on here oh well here let's do this so you would have your whole list of information you know you've been copying and pasting links into this thing it's saved for you know for all the world to see then you come in and come on you write you do what you need to do i think on the phone it's a click and hold and you can copy and then you go to your um description i'm going to come down here just to show you enter enter and then paste it okay and i think it's a push and hold to do a paste and now all that little content I just saved is there so I can copy and paste repetitive information easily okay and that's right here on the phone granted all this came off my PC but I, in retrospect I should have showed you this okay so I did this on my PC my PC PC just crashed what on earth am I gonna do I'm going to copy that information from the last video and I'm going to paste it in my new note okay and now I can save it on my phone so it is saved on my phone and now I can copy and paste this information at any time into any video it needs to go into okay this is all done right here on the cell phone kind of amazing isn't it you don't need a PC, you don't need a laptop, you just need a phone that you can access YouTube and connect your videos to it. A phone or a camera, anything that can connect to YouTube. Pretty slick. Okay, let's close that because we don't want to save that. So you're, oops, no, I didn't want to close it all the way. that YouTube oh, okay so I'm gonna come back to YouTube studio because I didn't really want to close it um this your dashboard again there's some comments um there's some videos your recent videos and you can see you know the thumbs up um there's some comments so you can always check there now what this the spit it out the app version does not tell you who has subscribed to your channel I have yet to find that anywhere in here if you go to analytics it tells you uh, last published videos how much watch time they're doing stuff like that uh, some weird stuff that they show you and your audience seems to be 100 percent female which you know how do they know that some of those names are kind of weird um you know if you had interactive content 
which I don't have all that stuff on my channel yet. But it doesn't tell you who subscribed. You know, I like to do shout outs. So I'm thankful that I do have a laptop and I can check my YT studio there because I can say, hey, this person joined, this person joined, this person joined. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, it tells me that, you know, the last time I checked, I had 78. Now I have 187. And then I can do some math and say, okay, 35 of you have private accounts but I appreciate you for showing up, stuff like that. So there is more available in the PC version, but nothing you can't live without. So keep that in mind if you're just starting and you don't have a PC and you've been wanting to jump out there, jump out there, hit record on your phone and load up a video. Okay. If you're thinking that video maker is too simplistic you want more stuff definitely go out and see what's out there if you're like i'm not sure download video maker it is free you can play around with it to your heart's content chop up a video <laughs> do some weird stuff with it and see what you like about it um definitely let me know what you think in the comments if you need assistance with anything else let me know. I can't help you if you don't tell me, right? Ha. Ha ha ha. I tell my kids that all the time when they get stuck in their schoolwork. It's like, I can't help you if you don't tell me what you're having a problem with. And I do like to help. So don't hesitate to drop me a line. Um, you can email me, elizabeth.costarogers at gmail.com. You can tag me in the comments. I have no problem um, answering questions there. I like I like to respond to my, my subbies. I appreciate them. want to help them out. And we will see you next time when we do editing on the PC. <laughs> and we will be doing, um, that's going to be a two-part because we're going to do the actual editing. And then we're going to do a neat little voiceover with music and stuff feature too with audacity so check the links for the programs we're using and i will catch you next time have a great day everyone bye bye